Typically, are you supposed to see antibodies such as IgG in your brain? You're not. But if there's presence of IgG in the CSF, what does that tell you? Number one, it could be an infection problem with meningitis that things are going up. It could be, right? Because IgG from your blood can go straight up into your CSF, right? But it can also mean the patient has an isolated problem in the brain, right? Which is producing local antibodies, IgG, with zero problems in the blood. And that is suggestive of an inherent problem in the brain suggestive of MS. So in order for you to say MS, right, and you say the oligoclonal IgG, right, it should be present in the CSF, but at the same time, if you check the plasma, should you have anything? It should not be present. So it should be negative completely in the blood, same time, not different times, at the same time, you do CSF LP, you get plasma. The IgG should be completely negative in your plasma, but should be positive in your CSF. That makes it positive. So don't only order CSF IgG and forget about the plasma. You could have a systemic infection that's producing IgG in the plasma that's going to travel up. If you've got elevated IgG in CSF, also in plasma, that is not MS. Isolated, only in the CSF, not in the blood, that is MS. That is your oligoclonal bands.